I'm in Stockport to meet Kay, who's decided to build her first ever camper van for herself and her husband, Andy. I can't wait to find out the drive and the motivation behind this one. For only four grand, this 18-year-old lifesaver has pretty strong vitals. All the stuff's come out, like the computers and things you would normally see in an ambulance. And has a particular curb appeal. It's square inside. A lot of vans have got, like, curved edges, whereas this is a square box. I keep saying that, like, it's going to make it easier. Hey, Andy, lovely to meet you. Hello, Hello. nice How to meet you. How are you doing? Good, good. Right, why do you need a van? We love camping, we love going away, we love travelling. We're both really into our snowboarding. OK. Met in the Alps, got married in the Alps many years later. Where did you get married? Val d'Azair. Val d'Azair. But the last couple of times we've been, we've just found it so expensive yeah. and it's getting worse. It could cost four grand for a week in a chalet, so four grand on an ambulance seems like it might stack up. So this will be our... Chalet on wheels. Chalet on wheels, really. I love the fact that you wanted a ski chalet in the Alps, <laughs> and to make it happen, you've bought a London ambulance. <laughs> Have you ever done anything like this before? Never, no. Have you done a vehicle before? No, i never done anything. I might have changed the tyre, I think. I made a shed. That's not a shed. <laughs> you have to challenge yourself. A London ambulance yeah. into an Alpine <laughs> ski chalet. Yeah. When you put it like that, it does sound mad. You're no! Right. <laughs> it's going to be fine. It is mad, but that's what's brilliant about it. Yeah. It is the right way around, isn't it? <laughs> Just had that, like, fear. <laughs> With the new window finally going in, she now has a room with a view. <laughs> how, how does that come down now? <laughs> we'll just leave it open a minute. <laughs> the problem, though, is her window has already sucked 500 quid of her two grand budget, and the interior is barely habitable. So Kay salvaged a few sheets of chipboard to attempt the camper's first luxury item. It has to have a toilet, that's my luxury. But we are going to do a composting toilet. I'm going to make it because they're extortionate. Like, a grand, some of them are like a thousand pounds for a loo that doesn't even flush. What's the worst that can happen? Look at that. Oh, it's a little rustic, but I think, considering I've never made a box or a toilet, I'm pretty chuffed with that so far. There we go. <laughs> See you later. I'm just casually sitting on my loo in the street. La 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 la. <laughs> Newspaper. <laughs> A new day, another power tool. Ha <laughs> ha. Never used one of these before. And Kay has turned her attention to another essential item of the interior. Why did I think it was a good idea to build a bed? Is that straight? I have to hand it to Kay, for someone with such limited DIY experience... To anyone in the profession, I apologise profusely. She's making great inroads and is determined to succeed. Right, OK. Uh... I grew up with just my mum. We didn't have a great deal, but we were very much make do and mend. If we got something, we looked after it, and if it broke, we tried to fix it. Almost looks like a bed. So, as a role model for me growing up, my mum always said, it's better to try and fail than to never have tried at all and then regret not doing something. There we go. Bed. <laughs> and I've pretty much lived by that, and for the most part, it's worked. <laughs> I made a bed. <laughs> yeah, I feel really proud of myself right now. It's starting to become a camper van rather than just me driving around in some battered old ambulance. Actually looks like it might have a, a new purpose in life. Oh, I'm so glad that's in. Yay! I'm back to see whether her persistence and her perseverance have paid off. Has she managed to create a slice of alpine luxury for her and her husband, Andy? Good morning. Hello. How are you doing? Good, good. 
It's nice to see you again. <laughs> and you. It looks great. Doesn't she look good? What a colour change that is. Yeah, it's quite drastic. I'm loving that graphic on the back. I know. Well, that was a last minute addition. It looks less like a prison van. <laughs> <laughs> now it's got some stickers on. So, are you pleased with it? I love her. Do you? Do you really love yeah. her? Yeah. Yeah. Can I have a look inside? You can. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Can I go in? Yeah, please do. Oh, Kate, it's beautiful. What a contrast to the outside, huh? Yeah, I know. This full on ski chalet. Get it. <laughs> it's amazing. I used to run a chalet in the Alps, and I always wanted my own. This is much cooler. And we can take it to the Alps. Yeah, you can take it wherever you want. Kay's camper is a testament to using every inch of space, from her compact 50s-style larder kitchen to the storage around the sides of the van. And even the skylights follow suit. That is the cutest, cutest little skylight I've ever seen. Yeah. Look at it. It's dinky, it's a tiny, <laughs> tiny, tiny, tiny little skylight. It's so cute. <laughs> I love the floor. And look at your bed. You've got uh, loads of storage underneath. Yep. So how do I get in? Do I just jump? Oh, there you go. Oh, my God, it's so nice. That is so comfortable. Is it long enough for you? It's more than big enough. It's really comfy, isn't it? People can see the soles of my feet there out the window. <laughs> there you go, six foot three. Yeah. That's a decent-sized bed. Yeah. This is really, really good. Oh, and I've just noticed you've got loads of little... Wine corks everywhere. They're your window surrounds, your sills. Have you drank all the bottles of wine that these corks have come from? Absolutely, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I love it. Oh. I really, really love it. It's so beautiful. It's got such a gorgeous feel to it. It just feels really warm and cosy when you're in here. And what a comfortable bed. It's amazing. Two things that are absolutely key was a fixed double bed yep. and the other was a proper bathroom. Where's your bathroom? It's behind these doors. What? <laughs> Look at yeah. that. Yeah. That's really smart. It's all right, isn't it, that? I mean, it's a little bit restrictive with headroom for me. Well, you can probably make use of the box behind you. Is this your loo? Yeah. It's the peace pot. The it's... peace pot? Yeah! Did you make this? I did. And this is actually covered in peace maps, isn't it? It is, from Val d'Azair. Look at that. <laughs> Plan de peace. Yeah. So does this open up? Yeah. Hi. It's, um... So... I mean, you know, it's there's not much privacy. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> so if I want to stand here and have a... Peace. Yeah. And you just come along and open the door. <laughs> Hi, everyone. You all right? Well, there is going to be a lock on the inside of this. I was going to say, I can't see one now. You need to get that on there. <laughs> it is brilliant. I've got to say, Kay has breathed a huge breath of life back into Madame Valerie. She's an absolutely awesome chalet on Wales. <laughs> 